Donald Trump was speaking in the Leocora Center on Saturday night after giving a disastrous speech earlier that day at the Faith and Freedom Caucus or conference that was in Washington, D.C. Just so you can see for yourself here, the entire back area of the Leocora Arena is covered up with flags and covered up with other drapes so that uh, they could have a crowd that looks bigger than what it really is. Uh, the capacity for this uh, stadium is around 10,000, but as you take a look there, it's certainly much less than that. Um, probably about half to even less than half of, of, of that. You can see here, as one person pointed out as well, how lots of other areas are off limits to seats where the press is. So uh, in my estimate, it would be less than 5,000, probably closer to 2,000 to 3,000, maybe even less than that um, based on what they did there. And it was, again, a very unhinged, strange speech. You've got Donald Trump saying that... Uh, that President Biden's going to show up to the debate jacked up on drugs. And they say, you know, it's the ultimate projection. Donald Trump goes, uh, Biden's going to inject uh, drugs in his ass. He's going to put shots in his ass. And that's how he's going to show up to the debate. It's like, what are you talking about here? Play this clip. Because they want to get him good and strong. So a little before debate time, he gets a shot in the ass. And that's they want to strengthen him up. So he comes out, he'll come out, I, okay, I say he'll come out all jacked up, right? All jacked up. We told you that Donald Trump was going to ratchet up these excuses as well as we get closer uh, to the debate. And now he's repeating what they were saying on Fox, that they say Biden's going to be on drugs. Then Donald Trump is talking about windmills and he calls the Green New Deal a Green New Scam and he says he, how much he hates windmills. This is part of his speech. Play the clip. Now the Green New Scam, let's build a windmill on every corner. A windmill that doesn't work. Darling, I'd like to watch television. I'm sorry the wind isn't blowing tonight. He then talks about how he thinks he's not cognitively impaired and that uh, when the media reports that he's cognitively impaired, they're wrong. Here, play this clip. And it didn't help when they went along with the Biden scam. What is he called? What is he called? You know what he calls it? So they get him in about nine different positions. I mean, even normal positions, although I assume he's been in some very bad ones. But they get him in all these horrible, compromising posts. And then they say he wasn't, it really wasn't that way. It was so. Then everybody sends in, they all have cameras. See, every one of you has a camera. If I blow it up here, though, they actually, they take a perfect, brilliant, beautiful statement that I make. I go for two hours without teleprompters. And if I say one word slightly out, they say he's cognitively impaired. He then proceeds to say something that I don't understand about Trump tug or Trump dry. I don't know what he's even saying here. Play this clip. Hey, you think of it as an ancient thing, but you know what made it almost as big as the drug, drug dealing stuff? You know what it was? The Internet. It's made it massive. You. Then, as he did earlier in the day, he discusses one of the things that he wants to do with migrants. He says he wants to force migrants to fight UFC fighters, and he wants to create a fighting league with Dana White where the UFC fighters will fight the migrants, and that that's important to him uh, if he were to be elected, to have UFC fighters fight the migrants. Here, listen to him in his own words. And he said this earlier today at the Faith and Freedom Conference. Here, play this clip. I told Dana White of UFC, I said, here's what we're going to do. You know, these are tough cookies coming into our country, it's coming with prisons and mental institutions. I said to Dana White, UFC, he's got a big fight going on right now. He's a good friend of mine. You know what he said the other day? They said, who's the toughest person you've ever met? He said, definitely Donald Trump. He said, Donald Trump. How about that? But I said, Dana, Dana, I have an idea for you to make a lot of money. You're going to go and start a new migrant fight league. Migrants, only migrants. And then at the end of the year, the champion migrant is going to fight your champion. And I hate to tell you, Dana, I think the migrant might win. That's how tough they are. 
I mean, again, just what a horrific, horrific thing to say. Then when Donald Trump is listing what he believes to be his accomplishments, he says that being friends with Kim Jong-un and making Kim Jong-un like America was a major accomplishment of his. Play the clip. They're all gone. We had the safest country ever. Kim Jong-un liked Trump. He liked Trump. Got along with him good. If that was going to be a nuclear war, he liked me. We had no problem. By the way, he's not happy right now. He then says that the poll that he likes the best is the Rasmussen poll, which is completely, and it has become a completely unhinged outlier poll. But he says that if Rasmussen ever were to find that he was losing, he would then hate that poll and he would say that the poll was fake. He's just saying in his own words. Here, play this clip. Last night, and they will never tell you this because they're fake news, but last night, Rasmussen, which is, in my opinion, the most respected poll out there. Now, of course, if we get a bad one, I'll take that back. If I had a bad poll, if they come out with a bad poll in a month from now, I'll say Rasmussen is terrible. But Rasmussen, no, it is a highly respected pollster. And they came out with a poll last night that Trump is 10 points up. The fake news will not report. He then says something about President Biden being as crooked as a $3 bill, not a $2 bill because $2 bills exist. Here, play the clip. And then, and then crooked Joe Biden came to office, crooked as a $3 bill, I used to say $2 bill, but they make $2 bills, right? Trump then brags about all of the times that he's being prosecuted, play the clip. Well, they don't refuse to prosecute me. I got more prosecutions than any human being. I've got more than the great Alphonse Capone. You ever hear of Scarface? Oh, my parents, my parents are looking down. How did this happen to my son? You know how it happened? I won an election that I wasn't supposed to win. I then did better the second time by a lot. We did much better, you know, for those of you in the fake news, we did much better the second time than we did the first, like not even a contest. In fact, we got the most votes for a sitting president in the history of our country. And then we were told, oh, but you just, you just missed it. You just lost. No, no, we can't let this happen. Donald Trump then says that President Biden is bragging that crime is down, but because Donald Trump says that he believes crime is up, that President Biden is lying. Play this clip. Unbelievably crooked Joe Biden is going around trying to claim that crime is down. He says crime is down. Crime is so much up. As Tim O'Brien says violent crime did go up during Trump's full term in office and it has gone down during Biden's term so far, with the decline accelerating so far this year. Here are the facts, and you can see right here, uh, the FBI says crime is plummeting in the US, um, and you can see their actual data, but you know, MAGA doesn't use data. Um, Donald Trump uh, is also saying at this speech that people right now are not able to purchase a toothbrush to, uh, to, to brush their teeth anymore. The toothbrushes are not, people aren't able to get them. And, you know, yes, it's unhinged and deranged, but the reason that he's spreading this lie is because when Trump was in office, people actually couldn't get toilet paper and very basic things. So he goes out and goes, you can't even get a toothbrush right now. He's, here, play this clip. The convenience stores are closing down left and right. The pharmacies have to lock up the soap. The soap, you want to buy a little bar of soap? You got to go through a big deal. Open up the glass, open up the steel. You can't keep a bar of soap. People walk in, they just take it. You can't buy toothpaste. You can't buy a toothbrush. You want a toothbrush, it takes you 45 minutes. And then Donald Trump says something about afraid of lies, just another cognitive glitch, something about afraid of lives in pen, and then he randomly says, oh, Venezuela, like he's just saying random words. Here, play the clip. So they were afraid for their lives and in in, think of it, they couldn't stand it. I, they were so afraid. I'm so afraid, Venezuela. So that's what Donald Trump was up to uh, earlier in the day. He spoke at the Faith and Freedom a conference in Washington, D.C. 
said a lot of the, the kind of similar things there as well. And I think we'll see Donald Trump ratcheting up um, more conspiracies about the debate, saying that the debate is rigged, it's unfair, just more whining from the biggest whiner of them all. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Thank you so much for watching. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.